Hello and welcome to the CWC Daily. Now it's been a mahusive day for teams in Pool B. There's been clashes between South Africa and Pakistan, Zimbabwe against Ireland, all of which fighting for those vital top four spots. Now Pakistan, a team desperate for a win, take on the mighty South Africa. This one taking place at Eden Park, Auckland. It was a real captain's innings as Miss Barrel Hack led the Pakistan charge and scored 56 runs. Half century. Safra's Ahmed, who newly brought into the starting team, scored 49. Dal Stain was the pick of the bowlers with three for 30, including the prize wicket of Alfredo. They were bowled out for 222, and South Africa must have felt the game was there for the taking. That was until de Kock went after just two deliveries. Some great fielding from wicketkeeper Zafra's Ahmed and a Pakistan outfield cut into the South African batting line. That man de Villiers battled to 77, but even he couldn't reach the target. They fell short by 29 runs. Wow, what a game that was. South Africa looked like they're in a driving seat. But Pakistan come back. They love a comeback, Pakistan, don't they? And let's see how the fans were celebrating over on Vine. Great stuff. And over on Twitter, let's see what you've been saying. At Janaid2754 said, Superb win. Amazing how a match oceans away in which you aren't even involved can make or break your day. Power of CWC 15. I love that. It's so true. Uh, at Hugo Corrie said, Pakistan have shown that they are a real danger team in the Cricket World Cup with a win over South Africa. The possibility of an upset in a quarterfinal is not beyond them. To be honest, I don't think it would be perceived as an upset anymore with this Pakistan team showing some real fighting spirit. And finally, at Ali Zane Ik 007, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, was keen to praise Zafraz Ahmed. Positive aggression against top quality bowling side. It was an incredible performance by him. He comes into the side for his first game of the World Cup 2015, scores 49 runs and then takes six catches behind the stumps. Incredible performance. Now Ireland have been a team that's impressed in this World Cup, especially after their opening win against the West Indies. Today's match against Zimbabwe is a crucial one for both teams. Now let's see how they got on. This was another thriller in Hobart. Ireland batted first. Ed Joyce and Andy Balburnie powered their team to a strong 331 for eight. No, oh, that'll go for six. Zimbabwe's response didn't start well, going 74 for four. Brendan Taylor really turned the tables, hitting a fantastic 121 to put them in the driving seats. Williams carried the push forward until he was dismissed just shy of his century. An incredible run chase followed. With just three balls left, Ireland managed to bowl Zimbabwe out for 326, winning the game by just five runs. Another incredible game of cricket. We truly have been spoiled today, haven't we? But for Zimbabwe, that is the end of the road for them. Unfortunately, they can no longer qualify for the quarterfinal stage. But for the Irish, they go marching on and they take that little step closer to grabbing one of those all-important quarterfinal spots. But the reaction from that game on Twitter has just gone crazy. I wasn't the only one enjoying it. At Afu23T said, amazing scenes after that heck of a game. It certainly was. At PatFDo said, what a game of cricket. Brilliant play. Congratulations, Ireland. And at BeckH underscore 23 said, talk about handling the pressure. Irish have won three tight contests. They really are bringing the drama to this World Cup. Now let's see how both of those games today leaves Paul B and the standings there. The results actually mean that India now qualify uh, for the quarterfinal stage. Of course, they haven't lost a game just quite yet. Pakistan move up to third, level on points with South Africa on six and look in a strong position now to qualify. Ireland move into the top four at the expense of West Indies. This pool's really going down to the wire. <sighs> what a day of cricket we've just witnessed. And that's it for today's show, but maybe tomorrow could be even better. We've got Paul A this time with an epic contest between Australia and Sri Lanka. Plus, we've got all the action from New Zealand against Afghanistan, and I'll see you then.